The other day, me and my husband, we sat at Applebee's, kicking back a few beers, eating some nachos. My husband got this funny look in his eyes and he reached across the table and he grabbed my hand very gently and he goes, baby, you are my best friend. Oh, that dang near killed me. Do you know how much it hurts when beer shoots out your nose? <laughs> idiot <laughs> oh heck he knows he's not my best friend my best friend is my friend Val and she is my best friend because Val and I have made a promise to each other that if one day by some terrible circumstance one of us is in a coma in the hospital the other one promises to sneak in and shave the mustache <laughs> That is a woman's best friend. Am I right? Yes. 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 Let me tell you something, girls. You leave it up to your husband, you're going to be laying in ICU look like you sent me this Sam or something. Just... I'd be so mad at my husband, I'd just wake up out of that coma just to go either pluck me or pull the cord. Are making fun of me. <laughs> Nurses have nicknamed me Sasquatch. <laughs> Val is my best friend. 300 pound black woman. Sorry, 300 pound beautiful black woman. Kind of black woman that walks into the room, her butt will come in five minutes later. <laughs> Wearing a thong, baby. <laughs> Woo! And working it. Why can't us white women feel about our weight the way black women do? Val ain't got no fat butt, man. She got junk in her trunk. She got more cushion for the pushing. <laughs> and she knows how to handle men, too. She's always telling me, Etta Mae, girl, you want to control your man, make him do what you want him to do. You got to control the sex. Just cut him off till he do right. <laughs> She said, dang, girl, check it out. One time, I had a boyfriend of mine cut in my yard at 3 o'clock in the morning, get some of my time. <laughs> so I did it. I cut him off. Yard ain't been mowed in three years. 